about this recipe. It is a recipe that came in my taste buds and it is called roasted butternut squash stew. Does that not sound amazing? And the uh, seasoning that came with it, hello Michelle, the seasoning that came with it is the cinnamon plus. So that's what I'm going to be cooking. So this is part of our taste buds. And again, it's called roasted butternut squash stew. So this is what our dinner is, and it sounds absolutely delicious. So this is the first time for me to make it, so I'm going to have to read along and follow my card. But step one is I've already got the butternut squash roasted, and I'll talk about that in just a second. Hey, Trish. So step two is I have my brand new enameled cast iron Dutch oven. This sucker is huge. I have this heating up on my stove with a little bit of oil. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and get some onions chopped up. So as you know, I love the manual food processor. It makes chopping onions just so easy. Uh, the recipe called for medium onion, but you know my house. We love our onions. So I've got a rather large onion here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that chopped up. It just said a rough chop, so I probably could just chop it with my knife, but heck, anytime I can use my manual food processor, I am all about that. So I'm just gonna throw it in here. That's a pretty big onion in here. And just give it a, a, a rough chop. Oh, I probably have way too much in there. Yeah, that onion's a little too large. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> pampered, not perfect. I was trying to shove it all in there. Here, I'll do it in batches, which is probably what I should be doing. There we go. Okay. Right, now I can add the rest of the onion in. That's still got the core on there. That's probably part of the problem. There we go. Okay. A rough chop that's a lot of onions it's a good thing my family loves them <laughs> that pot trish yes it's it is one of my new favorites the cast iron and you know what i am so pleasantly surprised with how easy it cleans up all right i'm just going to dump these onions in that with a little bit of the oil i'm just using some olive oil okay so while that's cooking, I'm going to go ahead and cut up. We need one zucchini. So I'm just going to chop that. Take off the bottom. Take off the top. I'm going to cut it in half. And then just cut uh, discs. Little moons, moons, if you will. Half moons. There we go. I'm using our chef knife, our color-coded chef knife. As you can see, it's super sharp. It is just gliding through this zucchini like butter. There we go. Oops, see, these, this is a pretty big zucchini. I might cut some of these pieces in half again. There you go. Get rid of the tops and the bottoms. All right, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about what I did with the butternut squash. So, I peeled the butternut squash with our serrated peeler. So that is this peeler right here. And you know, sometimes butternut squash, hey Francine, sometimes butternut squash can be a little hard to peel, right? Because it's a little um, tough. But our serrated peeler just goes through that so easy. So it's simple to uh, peel it with the serrated peeler. It's way easier than trying to use a regular vegetable peeler, that's for sure. So I peeled my butternut squash, then I diced it into little dices. We needed three cups, and then I put it in a bowl with some olive oil, one teaspoon of the cinnamon plus that came with it, a little bit of cayenne pepper, a little bit of salt, and then I roasted it for about 20, 25 minutes on 400, and this is my large bar pan. It's stoneware. I know it doesn't look like stoneware, but... This is a very well-seasoned piece of stoneware. I think I've had this one for 20 years. So anyway, so I've roasted my butternut squash and it is ready to go. 
I'm just going to keep it over here on the side. I'm going to give my onions a quick stir. Okay. To the onions, I need to add two cloves of garlic. So, of course, I'm going to use my handy dandy garlic peeler, or I mean garlic press, which I thought I had out and I don't. Alright, so for those that uh, do not have our garlic peeler, you don't even have to peel it. I mean a garlic press. You don't even have to peel it. You just pop it in there. I'm just going to do it in here just so you guys can see how it comes out already pressed for you. Got this handy dandy little thing here to scrape it out. And then your skin is left right here. Okay, I put it in my garbage bowl over here. All right, let me get the next one. Yep. So this is actually a pretty quick recipe. This, the only part that is going to take some time was the actual roasting of the butternut squash. So that's why I did that ahead of time. All right, now let me just add this. can opener. Go around and around. So I'm going to feel a loosening in the tension. Sometimes I'll feel a little pop or hear a little pop and get the lid off. Whoa. There you go. So I'm going to add the crushed tomatoes. This is, uh, as I've always say, the way I like to cook when you just dump everything in the pot. That's the best thing, right? Okay, next on the agenda, I need to add is the zucchini that I just cut up. We'll add that. All right. I need one can of chickpeas that I've already drained. So I have these draining in our Easy Read colander. This does fit on the side of your sink, so I love that, so that you can rinse and drain it right there. So I'm gonna add the chickpeas. The chickpeas are going to add some protein, which is really good. All right, next I need to add, I do have to read, hold on. Chickpeas, zucchini, oh, and the broth. So I do need one and a half cups of vegetable broth. So this is our easy read measuring cup. Hey Cheryl, how are you doing tonight? So I need one and a half cups of vegetable stock or vegetable broth. There we go. And of course, you know, I say this every single time. I am pampered, not perfect. I forgot that I was supposed to add a tablespoon of the cinnamon plus to the onions to kind of cook that first because if you cook your seasonings um, like saute them with the onions and the garlic it just brings out the flavor and I forgot to do that but I'm just gonna throw in my tablespoon of cinnamon plus now so the cinnamon plus is a product that is only out for a limited time our Corinthian cinnamon and our cinnamon plus is only out till December 31st. I love our Cinnamon Plus, one of my all-time favorites. In fact, I put it in my oatmeal, I put it in my coffee, I love it. Um, and what I'm going to do tonight is if you share this video, everyone that shares will go into a drawing and one lucky winner is actually going to win the recipe card and the packet of Cinnamon Plus so that you can try our cinnamon and try this delicious recipe. All right, so that needs to cook for just a few minutes. Um, let me go ahead and give it a good stir. Now, the cinnamon smells amazing. I don't know, I would think that this is kind of like a Moroccan type of recipe. I don't think it really says on here where, where it, uh, originates but certainly sounds delicious all right so the only thing left for me to do 
is add the squash. So that's got to simmer for about five minutes and reduce just a little bit. I'm going to add my roasted squash that I've already got cooked. Then I'm, I need to add two cups of baby spinach. So I'm going to go ahead and get that measured out. Let that cook until the spinach is wilted. So this is a super duper easy recipe. And then to finish it up, I am going to toast some cashews and uh, you garnish it with some roasted cashews and some cilantro. And then that is the, that's the recipe. Does it sound good to y'all? Roasted butternut squash soup, so, or stew. Sounds delicious to me. Oh, and you serve it, I'm serving it with some quinoa. Uh, you can serve it with rice, it says, um, couscous and some toasted naan bread. So I have some quinoa that I'm gonna cook up and serve it alongside with that. So I think it sounds super healthy. You'll also get a good boost of protein from that quinoa. Quinoa's got a lot of um, protein in it. So even though there is no meat in this uh, dish, it's still protein packed. So it's good and healthy for you. Gotta love that. It says it has, uh, where's the protein? 17 grams of protein. That's pretty good for a meatless recipe, right? Uh, I'll just read you all the, the stuff. So a, for a serving, you get nine total fats, one saturated fat. You get 17 grams of fiber, so that's awesome, and then 17 grams of the um, protein. So anyhow, it does sound yummy, Cheryl. I cannot wait to dig in. So I think you missed the first part, but in my um, on my roasted butternut, I used the cinnamon plus and some cayenne, so it'll give it a little bit of a, a kick. So it's going to taste really good and really healthy. So for my cilantro, I don't know if you guys, I'm sure if you've watched my videos, you've seen me using this, but it's our um, herb mill. So I'm just going to put the... Uh, cilantro in there and then it just makes it come out like confetti so I'll do that right over the top of our individual plates I could put it in there because we absolutely all of us in my family love cilantro it does sound yummy yeah that is a lot Cheryl for no meat so I'm super excited about this recipe when I got this uh, taste buds in I was like yeah it had some really good recipes. I was like, I cannot wait to try that. So anyway, this is our um, herb mill. Put a few more little pieces in there. That's probably plenty. So there you go. All right, so I can hear that my um, stuff over here is cooking away. It's boiling. There you go. And I'm just going to let that cook for a few more minutes. I want the... Zucchini to get a little bit softer, then I'll add the butternut squash and I'll add the spinach, let that cook. And when it's finished, I'll take a picture and show you the finished product. It's gonna be delicious. I can't wait. Yum! Thank you guys for watching me tonight. Oh, don't forget to share. Share, share, share. You'll go into a drawing. Alrighty. Bye, you guys.